What's going on guys, Dave here with some updates on this racetrack idea I showed you guys earlier. Now in this video I'm just going to cover the updates I've added thus far. So that's going to include number one, the car rig. Two, I updated the terrain a bit. And three, I'm going to have this package be shareable so you guys can download it and install it on your own Oculus Quest if you want to take it out for a spin. Give it a try. Uh, give me some feedback. That'd be cool. So yeah, stay tuned for that later. All right, guys, let's start with the car rig. That was a major focus of this update as the last video, it just went straight. <laughs> Anyways, on this video, let me show you a quick glimpse of what I did. So this time I had to uh, script a method that's gonna handle those uh, colliders I showed you guys on the last video and map them to the oculus controllers that way i can use them for my steering and accelerating um, so for this let me show you guys the script real quick all right so here's the snippet of the code so here i'm showing it how to call the oculus controllers and map its buttons accordingly to how I want to use them for this car. So first off, we have the left thumbstick for controlling steering. We got right trigger for gas. We got the right palm trigger for e-brake. And we got the left trigger for reverse. And then finally, we got the Y button for resetting yourself back to the starting point. Because that's going to be handy because my game's all buggy right now. <laughs> now with this in place, I have my buttons logged in. So I can now create formulas with these buttons that's gonna emulate physics components that's gonna make the car go. And then at the end, finally, uh, sort of a logic that's gonna help implement uh, those controls for you. And now that I have the car scripted, I took it for a spin and noticed that some of my cliffs were too steep for the car to actually climb. So I had to go ahead and update the track a bit, smooth out those heights and bring it down just a bit. That way the car can get by and through the whole track. All right, so now that I showed you guys those features, how about we take them for a spin? Now, hold up, let me just modify my scene real quick. That way, y'all can see how I'm doing this live. All right. All right, so I'm loaded in, I'm in the car, everything's good, I'm about to roll. So as I mentioned earlier, I have the right trigger as acceleration. So I click that and the car is moving, left trigger as steering, right palm as e-brake, and then left trigger is gonna be your reverse. Heck yeah, see, woo! Ooh, ooh, drifting already. <laughs> so yeah, guys, as you can see, the car is functional now. So I got its mechanics down and it's working. Let me take it around the, the course for a bit, just cause why not? Oh yeah, that way I can show you guys how to like reset properly or like at all because yeah climbing this mountain gets a little tough <laughs> i'll admit my design needs a little finessing but this works for now Woo! all right so for the next update plan is to actually work on the steering mechanism with the VR controls instead of just clicking controls, you know, I want to have the functionality of actually grabbing the steering wheel. So that's going to require a bit more complex 
logic in my scripting and as you can tell I just reached a steep hill Woo! oh son 180 <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right. Let me, let me pick up some speed here. And I made it. Just barely. Just barely. And I'm falling off the cliff. Shoot. Hey, I didn't land upside down though. Woo! All right, so in the event that you don't end up upside down, I also added a reset button. Blah, 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 blah. Reset button, wow. And that's gonna be your Y button on the left hand control. So let's try it out. Bam! <laughs> ah, that was too cool. All right, let's try it out again. Bam, son! <laughs> All right, there you have it, folks. Um, my current package of this racetrack is working, at least with you know minimal requirements. <laughs> Now for my third update, I'll be making my content downloadable. So if you guys wanna try it out, you can install it in your own quest and take it for a spin. This also came about as I received one comment mentioning if it's possible to upload my game so that other Oculus Quest users can play it too. To which my answer to that is yes. And in order to do so, I've gone ahead and created my own domain. That way I can use this to house all my files that way it's easy for you guys to go in and download them and then install them to your quest. So let me give you a quick tour of this new webpage. So you want to go ahead and type davesworld.tech on your browser. And as you can see, it takes you to my homepage and it's similar to my YouTube banner. Now you scroll down, I have a section where I discuss how I got into this VR game development, the tools I'm working with, and then finally, the downloadable content section where you want to go to. So if you go here, it'll take you to my repository where, as you can already see, it's including my current racetrack build, which is going to already have all the features I showcased to you guys earlier. Now, you want to go ahead and click this link right here. And once you do so, it's going to automatically start downloading this racetrack GTR APK file. Now, you, this is the file you're going to need to install into your request if you want to try it out yourselves. Now, for this, I suggest you download a program called SideQuest. It's easy to use, so if you don't know how to mess with the Oculus file directory, that's the way to do it. So yeah, if you're interested in trying any of my projects, I'll have the link in the description down below. And let me know any feedback you may have, or if you would like a video of me explaining how to install this file on your own Oculus Quest, leave a comment down below too. And that's it for now. Let's see what updates I come up with next. Peace.